If you want easy combat XP and millions of coins, then the absolute best way to do that is ghosts. So welcome to the best ghost grinding guide that you'll find on YouTube. And this guide will teach you how to make insane profit and combat XP from them. And if we can hit 30 likes in this video, I'll be doing a 15 million coin giveaway on my Discord. Link in the description. However, if we can hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of this month, I'll be giving away a further 50 million coins there. So subscribe, like the video, and watch till the very end. A few things you need to know in advance is the best gross grinding spot is here under the King's Bridge, and since the new Crimson Isles update, the aggro of ghosts has drastically been nerfed, so solips are not effective now. So the old metas from a few months ago are sadly outdated, but this new meta is me and ghosts. The bare minimum requirements you need to get is to have a DPS of at least 1 million, if not very close. You can either get this through talismanry forges, armor, pets, weapons, enchantments, just a whole bunch of things. But to get into the specifics, you want the shaded power on your talismans to get the most damage. Note that we're not using scorching here because we just want single hit damage. And for armor, you want either a warden, crimson, tarantula, or necron's helmet, preferably a warden and helmets. From there, you can use Necron armor with any piece of that armor being crimson. It's important to have one piece of crimson armor because this essentially doubles your DPS. And while some people may say Warden's Helmet is bad because it lowers your speed, they are wrong. It's very easy to just AUTV around to the next ghost. It doesn't really matter, so just feel free to use it. And as you progress through ghost grinding, the only real way your armor setup will change is by substituting your armor with Sorrow armor, but you can only do this when when you can afford to sacrifice some damage for more magic find, which is an important stat for making money. And the final note about armor is if you're using Mastiff armor, don't. You don't get enough damage, and the EHP that it does give you isn't really needed. With my gear that is pretty much baseline for ghosts, I already never die. For a weapon, the best weapon to start off ghosts with is a giant sword due to its high damage output. While it's probably the most expensive singular item on this list, what you're killing ghosts with really matters. And as you progress through ghost grinding, you move on to a Daedalus Axe and then a Dark Claymore. By far the best weapon for ghosts right now. Also, something that I've seen a lot of people doing wrong with ghosts is using one for all. If it's on your ghost grinding weapon, then you are actually throwing and losing up to 80% of your sorrows. This is because of the looting enchant. It's an enchant that costs less than 100k to get a tier 4 version of, and can allow you to drop sorrows 60% more often. Also, if you have the money to invest in getting a high cubism level, you should definitely do this too, since it gets buffed from ghosts since they are creepers. From there, you want a level 100 legendary mithril golem for damage and AOTV to teleport with, full molten equipment for strength, or optionally replace the necklace with the delirium necklace for one extra magic find, a wand to regenerate health fast, and a high level grandma wolf so you can maintain kill combos for longer. I also do recommend downloading this last texture pack I'm using. It's a lot by Hypixel and just makes the mist so much more bearable. When you first get into the lobby, you go to the area below the King's Bridge and kill these ghosts. They will walk to the edge of the wall if left alone for too long. This does bug the Crimson ability into not working so make sure that you set them up first. From there, you simply just run around, killing ghosts, teleporting to the next one, and making huge profit of all their drops. Now, when it comes to selling their loot, you want to sell all the plasmas, sorrow, and ghostly boots to the NPC, but for sorrows, you want to turn them into sorrow armor. I find that sorrow chest plates usually have the best margins on them, but occasionally sorrow leggings will be more worth it to sell. With an hour of ghost grinding in my setup, which definitely has some improvements to be made, I made 12.5 million coins per hour and 1 million combat experience. It will take some time and practice to get your kill combos up, but you will notice your rates improving over time. Also, if you're a rich player who has a lot of coins, leveling a golden dragon while ghost grinding also gives a ton of profit. When you're endgame, you can easily expect rates of 25 million per hour to 30 
30 million per hour, making ghosts better than gemstone mining, outside of mining fiestas obviously. And there you have it, your ultimate guide to ghost grinding in Hypixel Skyblock. Let me know if you missed anything, and also comment down below what your ghost grinding setup is, I'm curious to know. Remember, if we hit 30 likes in this video, I'll be doing a giveaway, and make sure to subscribe for that 50 million coin giveaway when we get 4,000 subscribers. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.